everybody, how you doing? Been chatting with Dom Parker Racing. He's uh, across the pond there. He does a lot of road racing. Just getting into iRacing YouTube videos. Uh, give him a look real quick if you got some time. Anyway, we've been chatting about cameras, spec maps, uh, trail braking, a whole bunch of stuff. And he said, hey, is there any way to make a zip line camera like they used for several years before they uh, got into the drones? And the zip line camera is just a camera that's on a wire, usually down the front stretch or the back stretch. And uh, it was motorized. The camera is zipped down the line following the cars in a profile view. And I thought to myself, we can do this, just how do you do it? All right, so I've got a replay loaded up here, and I am in my broadcast camera view. You use the drop-down menu, you can see it right there. Or I highly recommend you get sim racing apps for this camera selector widget if you're going to be doing any kind of uh, in-booth uh, director camera selection so you don't have to use the uh, keyframes. Okay, so here I am on broadcast. What we're going to want to do is select pit lane. And you see that here in the drop down menu. Control C to bring up the camera editor. Come over to group here and select group. Now we're on pit lane. Let me see. Okay, here are the pit lanes over here on the right that are available. What we're going to do is we're going to copy this camera file so you will not lose your current pit lane view if you are using it. So we copy, create, paste. And you see up here it put a zero behind pit lane and we have a new pit lane camera. So up here under the name we're going to change that to zip line right. That would mean the right side of the vehicle. And I'm going to put a number in front of it so on uh, the sim racing apps that shows up first then hit enter okay so we have a brand new camera let me bring over the sim racing apps real quick 001 zip line right you can see that i've already got them installed here but that's for our our tutorial here okay come back over to the camera button you can't rename this here so just leave that as it is position type we're going to want to be in chase and you can leave it to static for right now you saw how the camera view changed there okay now if i hit play okay we're gonna have to do that one more time that's right chase there we go we're starting to move now off the grid okay you might have to do what just happened there hit play in order to trigger it and then come back to chase okay so uh we're on static and the reason we're on static is that opens up all of these uh axis options here whereas if we're on at car we lose the bottom three so go to static now it's just a matter of using the keys to change the parameter of the camera and put it in the position that you desire. And I said this was camera right, so we're going to go to the right side of the truck. There we are. And that's actually looking pretty good there, assuming that this wire would be... above the pit road stuff. And usually, if I remember right, it was pretty much in a hardcore uh, profile. You know, not leading the truck, not leading the vehicle, or being behind it. it. It would focus right on it. And, you know, these cameras were zipping along at 180 miles an hour along that wire. It was pretty good technology before they uh, started going for the drone. So let's just uh, give this a, a play. And there we go. Following the truck down the front stretch at Watkins Glen. So essentially what you've done here now is you've created a camera that, for lack of a better description, is, you know, hardwired directly to the vehicle that you're driving. Uh, you could, you know, select any other vehicle, of course, that's on the track, but we're, we're talking about you, right? Okay, yeah. So we got it at static 53. You can change that any way you want. Uh, let's see, the near plane bias should be at 1 so you don't get any fuzzies and shimmering the vanish y you can change that 
and the Vanish X. You can change all these things, adjust the microphone gain, and so on and so forth. Now, you don't want to have this on at all the time. And what I'm going to do now is play a quick lap here at Watkins Glen to show you how I use it manually. Now, you probably could insert this camera into a group like say broadcast where you have all these cameras in there you could probably insert them in there and then time it all out I prefer to do it manually because I like my cameras set up that I've got already for the broadcast and I think it's one of those things you could probably overuse but uh, so I just activate it manually whenever the truck gets onto a straightaway here at Watkins Glen all right and then for the neck if you wanted to have it on the left you know uh, we just created one for the right you would do the exact same process and then call it zip line left. I have found at certain tracks it only works for the most part on the inside of the track, if you will. There's not a lot of grandstands and fences and so on and so forth. Okay, enough of that. Let's go take a look at a whole lap where I do this manually. <coughs> Damn, I had the whole video edited, uploaded, and even had it processed, and I forgot the most important thing. Save the track. Come down here, save track, now, if you've never made any changes to the camera file in the track that you're on, all that you're going to see is default. And I'll show you that here real quick. If you were to try to load a track, default. So, save the track, name it something. You can see I date it. I put stock with zipline. I brought Texas over to use that as a template, yada yada. I kind of date them and you, you, get, you get what I'm saying. I suggest that you never save anything to the default. I like to keep that plain Jane the way it came from my racing, so you can always go back to that as a reference for whatever reason. Edit. After you've made any changes in the camera edit, save the track and name it something. All right, there you go, how to create a zipline camera. Pretty cool effect. All right, guys, thanks for coming along for the ride, and we'll see you next time.